Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome to my little corner of the internet where we talk about books. I have a lot of random special announcements, random bookish things that have happened in my life that I want to update y'all on. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be. Yeah, this week has just been super, super random. A lot of random things have happened, a lot of random lucky things. So I'm just going to fill y'all in on what I've been reading, what I've read, and what I've won. Because I just won nine hardcover books let me show you so i don't know if you guys can see and i'm actually like really really struggling to hold this up right now but this is the entire bridgerton collection yeah i won them in a juniper books giveaway when i tell y'all i saw this and i went so hard that instagram blocked me from commenting for about a week straight it was bad but it was worth it okay these are not only limited edition special spines but they're also signed by julia quinn herself like hand signed so I'm going to show you guys all of them because I already showed you the spine. I'm going to show you guys a more close-up of the spine as well. This is The Duke and I, the first book in the collection. And I'm going to show you guys Julia Quinn's little signature. There you go, Julia Q. Ugh so freaking gorgeous it's silk also i didn't know that the bridgerton books were this thick believe it or not as a big bridgerton fan i own a couple of the books but not the whole set and i haven't read it so but now i got these all for free nine hardcover special edition books signed by julia quinn herself for free yeah lucky girl syndrome is so real this week the Viscount Who Loved Me. Then we have an offer from a gentleman. Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which is what the newest season coming up is based off of. This book right here. I'm kind of tempted to read that one first before all the others because it's like, it feels the most prominent, but I also wanna know the background of the other stories. To Sir Philip with Love. When He Was Wicked, which I think is a Cinderella retelling. Is it? Is this one that's a Cinderella, Cinderella retelling? I have no idea. One of these is a Cinderella, like like an ode to Cinderella, but I don't know which one. It's in His Kiss, On the Way to the Wedding, and then the final one, the ninth one, is uh, The Bridgertons Happily Ever After, which is like all of their stories rounded up. Okay, I'm gonna move that somewhere so much safer. Hold on. Hold on. As if these fall, I promise y'all, you're not getting a video and I will cry. So my current reading update is that I finished Lipstick and Camera Clicks. That was the best, the best romance I have read recently. When I tell y'all it's going to be a comfort read for me, it had drama. It was reality TV show based. So like the main character was in a reality TV show while also dealing with a love triangle. The main character had like a enemies to lovers thing going on, like kind of a fake dating trope. And then um, the actual love interest who she ends up with was like a best friends to lovers, like childhood best friends to lovers, which y'all know I freaking love. But it was the cutest story I could have asked for. The cutest. This is the cover, by the way, if you haven't seen it, just looking at the cover should tell you what you need to know. DJ Murphy did her thing, y'all. Like this had so much drama. The romance was so beautiful, but also like really complicated and messy. And the TV show drama aspect of it was even better because I was just expecting like a smooth sailing romance with maybe like a third act breakup, but it was dramatic 
like dramatic and i love reality tv show so if you put a rom-com with a reality tv show love triangle friends to lovers enemies to lovers all in one trope yeah i'm gonna eat it up i gave it six stars six stars yeah that book was absolute gold if you cannot tell i'm absolutely obsessed with it i'm i love it so much i might even reread it again within the next month that's how good it was go read it moving on with the books i'm currently reading right now i'm currently reading um four yeah they're all amazing they're all different genres people always ask me how do you balance more than one book make sure they're different genres so you never get them confused and if you get bored of one genre you just switch over to the next it's like watching a show it's the simplest thing for me but first i have the partner plot by christina forrest this is my main read right now super cute it's childhood lovers to enemies to friends to lovers slash um forced marriage so I think, no, not forced marriage, accidental marriage, I would say. I'm about 20% into this one, loving it. I love Christina Forrest. She never fails me, never fails me. The Neighbor Favor is also one of my favorite romances of all time. She never fails. She knows what to do. I'm never bored in her books. I love her to death. Next, we have Amari and the Great Game. This is Black Girl Harry Potter, book two. Love it so much. I'm buddy reading this. Also, look at this custom bookmark I got. This is Rocky, sweetest. Anyways, Amari and the Great Game, so good so far. It's middle grade fantasy, but it does not read like it, I promise you. It's also getting two more books, so it's gonna be a whole series, love it. I don't have the cover on it right now, but this is Their Vicious Games. I'm almost done, like, I don't know if you can see my bookmark, but I'm literally like right here. I'm very close to being done. It's just, it's really like a lot. So I keep taking breaks, but I'm gonna finish it this month for sure. And then again, I don't keep my covers on my hard covers when I'm reading them because they just get messed up. So I like to keep them somewhere safe. The last one I'm reading is Lore of the Wilds. Lore of the Wilds is a black fae fantasy romanticy. It's really good so far. I'm just getting into the world building. So it's a bit slow for me and it's really hard for me to get into fantasy, but I like fantasy. It's just, I'm a very much like, attention now person like ADHD problems I want to read this one I know I do it's just I'm taking a bit of a slower crawl towards it on top of all that I got some book mail okay so first we have Hawthorne and the Prince by JJ McAvoy this is from what publishing company is this from um Penguin Random House but specifically Dell so this is supposed to be very Bridgerton Black Regency era it's cute the cover's really cute i don't really like the white border but like what are you gonna do i'm telling y'all now that i'm like an established book talker i don't know when these books are coming in they just do um let's see my friend ali got me blood debts for black history month happy black history month um yeah she got me this as a little gift but this is supposed to be i think in, it's set in new orleans and it's supposed to be like a fantasy black fantasy the cover's super cute i wanted this for forever Thank you very much, Ali. Okay, then I got, I've never heard of this author before, but his name is Peter Nichols and it's called Granite Harbor. It's supposed to be some sort of thriller. And then the best one of them all, Aardvark Book Club sent me a love song for Ricky Wilde. And again, my promo code is still running. So if you want this book yourself, you can get it for $4 and free shipping, $4 hardcover book. And look at the cover for $4 and free shipping y'all. I got you, I got you. Yeah, that's all the book mail I got this week. Also, in other bookish news, I wanted to let you guys know that I have started writing my own book. It is a black romance set in college. It's academic rivals to lovers. There's past problems. There's a new love interest, a love triangle issue. It's great. I'm really in love with it so far and I'm working on it really hard. And one day it'll be out in the world and I can't wait for you guys to read it and for me to be an author instead of just reading them all the time. Don't get me wrong, I love reading them, but I also wanna be one. That's why I read so much, cause it inspires me. But yeah, I think you guys are gonna love it if you love what I recommend, cause what I recommend is very close to what I'll write. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the bookish updates. So I'll get back to y'all with the February wrap up and we'll see how many books I read and if juggling all these books actually helps me in the future. Who knows? Happy Valentine's Day. I missed that. I know my viewers over here love love because I love love. So I hope you guys had a great one. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching Means of World. Make sure to follow me on my socials to keep up with my day-to-day -day bookish activities. Bye!